Hi and welcome to another video presentation of construction equipment productivity software. Uh, in our last video we've shown you how to set up your construction site parameters and in this video we're going to show you how to set up your uh, construction machinery uh, parameters. And last time we have uh, selected earthworks as our work type so now we're going to start up by uh, selecting and setting up uh, an excavator and a dump truck. Uh, we will start the calculation by clicking on the button Add on our left side. And in this dialog box we will select an excavator. Now these are all machines that uh, are used for earthworks. And here we have several brands at our disposal and the model. And we click on OK and the excavator window appears. Now in this window these are the properties of our excavator at the top. Uh, notice that if we are using a different bucket than the standard bucket, then we have to check this box here and uh, type in the volume of the bucket uh, that we are using. But if we are using a standard bucket, then we can leave the box unchecked. On the left side now, we start by typing in the depth of the excavation and selecting a swing angle for our excavator. It's up to 180 degrees. So let's say the depth is 3 meters and the, the, the angle is 120 degrees. Now we have to select a soil category and um, if we're not sure which uh, category is our soil, uh, we should click on the question mark and look at the classification. Okay, so now we select third category and the type of soil, let's say dry clay. Uh, now we have to select our unloading method and we can unload on a pile or on a truck. So we'll select the truck and select the make and the model of that truck. So let's say Mercedes-Benz. Right. And its volume is 16 cubic meters. Now if the volume of the truck is different than the one that is standard, we can change this easily by typing a different value. Uh, here we type in the quantity of the work that is supposed to be done. So let's say we have 23,000 cubic meters to excavate. And here we will, we will type in the work hours that we have at our disposal. So let's say that we have 10 days uh, and each day we're going to work 10 hours. So that's 100 work hours. On the bottom we have the Primavera P6 activity ID. Now this is something we'll show you in... Uh, one of our next videos, but for now on let's just type in the activity ID of 81010. And we'll click on the Add button. Uh, the next window that appears is the window for the truck. Uh, now the dump truck is already set up with the category and the soil type that we have uh, used in our excavator window and the loading machine is the excavator that we have selected. The quantity is the same and the working hours are the same. So now we're going to type in the transport distance to our dump site. Let's say that it's 7 kilometers. And we'll click on the Add button. And now we have our list of machines. So basically for this kind of work, we need 3 excavators and 21 truck. So if we are going, if we say uh, have... Uh, only two excavators at our disposal, then we can change this and say, well, we need 15 days, which makes uh, two excavators, and we'll change the dump trucks to 150 as well. And we'll see that we can do the same work with in 15 days with only two excavators and 14 trucks. Now you can tweak the work time here, you can tweak the quantity so that you could... Uh, manage to get maximum efficiency from your uh, uh, equipment on the site. So that's it for this time and uh, join us again. Thank you for watching.